to all of you. How are you guys? Thank you for uh, watching this cool video. Uh, it's called Javi Winners, January 2020. Now, why I call you winners and uh, viewers, actually? Because we still didn't give up. We are in January 2020. We had a tough uh, six months, actually. And you're still here, so thank you for that. Um, now, in this video, I'm going to speak to you about a few main things. One, it's the three ways you can work with Jarvi on 2020. Uh, I'll also speak about scraping and scraper accounts, the right settings, follow and follow, and why I do mostly follow and follow all the DMs, proxies a bit, and why we must use the FBE, the full bubble experience, and the main things, how to solve 99% of the blocks. Okay, I also write over here, vlogging, 48 hours of device ID, I will also explain more. Just you know what I'm going to speak about. Okay. Now I make this video because I I made a post a few days ago on the community I manage. Uh, by the way, hello to you. My name is Adi. If you don't know me, so I'm a the admin and the co-founder of Javi uh, Instagram automation community. Well, more than three thousand people. That's pretty interesting. And yes, I make this post to show you with a few and um, evidence. You can call it the results we get. Me and my team. Of course, it's after hard work, okay? But you can do that. <laughs> I just post these things to show you that you can actually do that and you can get this result and it's not something that I just imagine, okay? So this is the things. And I also see many people over here in the group that saying that they're getting blocked and they don't know what to do and how to solve them. And people say automation is dead <laughs> and all of that. So no, the automation is not dead, but most of the games, uh, the gamers, sorry, and the people who used to do this um, doesn't fit to that anymore, you know, so not anyone can do that, okay? <laughs> this guy wrote something about the people who cannot do this because we profit by training people to use Javi. Um, one, yes, I do profit for training people uh, to use Javi, okay? I also help many people for free on the group. We get a free help over here. Not you, yeah, but many people. <laughs> and also this guy automation is over, bro. I'm here to tell the truth. And after I'm facing with them, so they're saying, yeah, no, basically it's not really dead. It's just two times harder and more expensive. And this is the real truth. <laughs> okay, so I want you, before you watch this video, I want you to ask yourself two things. The one thing is why are you doing that? Why do you use Jarvi? Okay. It's the most uh, important questions. Question, sorry. And the second thing is to ask yourself what is your goal that you want to get with Jarvi. Now, if it's only one account that you manage, two accounts, it can work for a bit of time, but then you need to all the time keep updating. So I'm not really sure if it's profitable for you. But if you're running a company from that, or if you give it as a service, or if you have many accounts and you do many cool things, and you're ready to work hard and ready to also spend time energy and money so that's for you take a few minutes think about my two questions why and what think about that i'm sure it will help you in the in the future as well yes so before we start the last thing i want to let you know something that you must keep in your mind about instagram app the last update of instagram was on the 17th of december guys this is a two weeks, more than two weeks from now, on the 6th of January. Keep it in your mind, guys. It's really extreme, extremely important data, uh, this, this thing. Okay, now let's start. Okay, so first I will I have this small job over here. I will show you a few of the things I'm doing. Okay. Okay, so let's start. Once again, I'll show you this is basically client account. This is scraper account. Sorry, let's do it like that. Now, basically, you have three ways to work with Jarvi. The first way is to work with the API, okay, and to use the embed browser uh, to do the action. That means that when you put in some follow sources, some of target's account, so that the account, your client account, or your account will use the API to scrape the data, the followers, and you will use the embedded browser to do the action, as well with the follow and as well with the unfollow. This is what I check. Okay, I check these options. 
use only the embedded browser to follow, use only the embedded browser to unfollow. Also check these two options. Uh, also this one with most of the accounts, it's working the best. And use alternative embedded browser, that's okay. And also this one, okay? So the first option is to use the embedded browser to do the actions and to use the API to search the user. The second option is to use only the API, sorry, only the embedded browser, okay? It's mean you will only do actions on the embedded browser and you must set up a scraper account that will scrape the data and send it to your account, okay? I will also show you that and then I don't use the API at all on this account. The third option <laughs> is to use only the API as well with the server. It's called a enable API full emulation. I'm not going to speak about this in this video because I don't do it for my accounts. For me, I found this option uh, not so good, okay? But you can also do that. So let's start. Let's say I have my account. I want to use this for Javi. I want to do the right settings and the right actions to make it work. So I go to tools and this is basically the settings uh, I'm using. You can also copy that and change it a bit, okay? Now you have to keep in mind that it can be really, really changeable from account to account. If you have one account that gets so many blocks, so many issues, um, it works with another tools, it uses many, I don't know, the hyper vote, mass voting, many, many tools, and now we came to you. <laughs> so this account can be a bit flagged. So you must be extremely uh, careful with that and even do, sorry, even do it a bit slower, okay? Like for example, put your three actions per hour or something like that. Um, this is what you need to keep in mind. Also, you can see I'm working on the daytime. If you do follow to someone on 2 a.m. or 5 a.m., if your target audience is not <laughs> available in this time, so it doesn't have any um, impact. So I will go with the daytime, okay? And here with the filters, you must remember that every filter that you add over here, it will take more and more API calls. Okay. Now, when you have so many API calls, it mean your account need to connect to the code of Instagram, I explained in my words, <laughs> and then you need to check all of these things. And when you do so many API calls, if you go with a few thousand, with a few, I don't know, more than that 100K, even more, it can be very dangerous for your account. So I keep it, only the things that I must for my account and try to get good follow sources, okay? So, what I do, I do skip non-English users and I use user as profile image. And in the end, I also do skip my followers, okay? This is the main thing that I'm doing. Uh, here I also can, you can also choose the gender, male, females, both, all. Sorry for that. And also the language. It's extremely important. If you're looking, for example, for French people, and if you check it's French, it won't help, okay? What you need to do if you need French people is to go to settings, social platforms, Instagram, go here, show male and female names and check French and put in the names like you can see it on English. Okay, one second. In this style. And now I give it for free for my VIP students. I will also speak about it on the end. but. You can also do it a, also by yourself, and then you will also get French audience. Okay. Now also, I do I check these boxes. It means that when I check that, it will try to fix some uh, not real blocks, like fake blocks. And if it's a real block, it will stop the tool for this period of time. So you must have enough time to go and check it. Now, I also skip time with normal results and also view story after the follow, something like 60, 70, these kind of numbers. Now, in the follow sources, what I do is extremely easy. I put here my competition, my colleagues' accounts. Okay, I check this box. I don't use the hashtags and geolocation so much because, again, it's taking too many API calls, so I don't want to do that. Um, I'm a mom. And also keep in mind if you put some accounts. Hey, for example, if you use accounts, I don't know, like you go to Instagram and you put a Justin Bieber, okay, put here, uh, for example, Justin Bieber, or I don't know what his username, and all of that, when you have like a few millions of people, 
So it's not a good audience, okay? Because most of the people who follow Justin Bieber follow him because um, he's a famous guy. <laughs> so if you are famous, go with that, yeah? But if your account is not so famous, so I don't think it's a good audience. So you must choose accounts that really similar to you, with similar bio, with similar content, even with similar numbers of followers, okay? It can be really good. You can take like 10K, 20K, 50K, 100K even, okay? But not go too big because also the account were too big, mostly bought many followers in the past, okay? So this is basically for the follow. And keep in mind what I told about the trust prayer, about account history, about the number of the settings and make sure you and your clients doesn't do, doesn't make the same actions at the same time from Javi and from another device. When you do that, the chance to get blocked is become your reality. <laughs> Trust me because I was there and it happened to me. So make sure to do that. You can uh, set up a night mode. Okay. You can go here and do a night mode. For example, I tell to my client, so 8 a.m. to, for example, 10 a.m. you will work on the account and Javi will be sleeping. Okay. Just an example. Now for the unfollow, I do it really, really similar. You can see also my settings for the unfollow. Of course, it's not my settings for all of the accounts. Okay. I change it from account to account to try to do it very, very human. And like I said, also remember the history of each account. It's extremely important. If this account had a lot of issues, I again start extremely low. Two Two actions per one hour or something like that. Again, with the daytime. You can see that, you can stop the video <laughs> and continue. So, as well with the filters on the unfollow, um, as you can see, I'm not putting you so many filters. Why? Again, the same reason of the API course. I don't want to do so many API calls. Now, I unfollow all users followed by Jarvi, okay? And if I want to target also people who I follow outside Javi, I will, I will also check that. But if I want people only that they follow from Javi, so I do keep that. And you can also use a whitelist, okay? If you have some people from here, from your followings you want to keep, but not all of them, and then you can also do that, and that's okay. Now, again, I do suspend when temporarily blocked, so I will have enough time to check it, and I also skip when no more results. So this is the first way that your account can actually work, okay? And put your just colleagues and competition accounts, and that's it, you can start to work with that. Now the second option, that you can also do that, it's when you actually see, when you put in many sources, let's take a few, for example, I put Lady Gaga, just an example, okay? And I put here many of them. Like I said, it's not a good idea, you need to choose Account that's really similar to your uh, Lady Gaga. Um, let's see, Russell Branson. <laughs> I just put a few people that uh, came to my mind. Okay, let's say I put in many of them. Let's say, let's see, say it's uh, working. This is my competition. And then I start the follow tool. And I see over here, I have error message. And it said to me, like, zero cannot find any sources okay this is one of the main issues that i'm seeing over here now that means that this account cannot scrape the data at the moment and you cannot find users to follow them so what you can do to solve that you can set up a scraper account okay now i'm not going to speak here again about the scraping because i make a whole video about that you will have it on the bottom 10 minutes i explain how to use a scraper what you do everything Okay, about scraping, so we have all the data. Yes, but basically this is what I do. Okay, and and then and then and, and, and I do it like that, and then I do the scraper account. I set it up like that, five to ten, ten to thirty. You will see my video, and then I do extract the users and send them to my follow sources, and then with this account, with my client account, I don't need to use the API. I go here, I follow specific users, you have to check this box, and then it will use the embedded browser. I also go here, and I check use only the embedded browser. So that means, sorry, that means I don't use at all the API, okay? This is basically the second option that you can do. Um, where is that? Okay, 
only like embed browser plus a scraper. Now, this option also solving a lot of my problems. I have some accounts who cannot scrape the data, and you need a scraper, so this is what you can do. Okay? And this is basically the three ways you can work with Jarvi. Now, let's say that you get a block. Okay, you go here and you see that you have a block. So, what you can do to solve that? Extremely, extremely easy. And let's say you have the, the blue, sorry, the red button. Let's go to the group. I will show you how it looks. I'm sure you know how it looks like. Um, like this, okay? And then you put the mouse and say, oh, it's blocked for tomorrow or two days from now, or something like that. So what you need to do is to stop the account, the first thing, open the embedded browser, okay? And over here, what you need to do is just go to the explore page and try to make a few actions. Okay, for example, sorry, over here, I will do like, I go here, sorry, I do follow, extremely easy, okay? Now, if I see it's still blocked, okay, so let's say I do it now, I see it's blocked, I get temporarily blocked without any date. So I go to my account, I do log out, and then I re-log in, I log in again. Now, this also solution solving really 99% of my blocks, okay? The re-login, and then I try to do a few actions on the explore page, and it's actually working. You can do it by yourself. Now, just do it maximum two times per day, not more than that, because then you can get a real block with dates, okay? Now, let's say it's happened. What I do, I also go to the account, and I make it even a bit lower, like two actions per hour, something like that very very low okay and this is basically what i do to solve the block um, um, um let's say you do that and you still get a block you do the relogging and still you see action block so when you see when you see that you need to give the account 48 hours for free don't use your account okay for 48 hours just keep it like that but all the tools must not working at all okay if again after 48 hours it's still blocked, you just go to your client account and you do the rest device ideas, okay? But just after the two days if it didn't work. This is what I can tell. And basically this is the two option that I the three options that I'm using to solve my blocks. So relogging, rest device ideas, sorry, 48 hours free or rest device ideas. Now I want to speak about the browser experience, okay? It's extremely cool feature of Java, so you can actually implement, you can look very human. What you need to do, just go here, put your daytime in your mostly um, app, okay? You can keep it like default, you don't have to change it. And here you just check this box, and here you put the hashtag that you're using in your post. If I use hashtag Instagram, or if I use hashtag marketing, or IG videos, I don't know which hashtags you're using, so put your at least 30, okay, and just do like that. Again, with your locations, do it as well. And I, for example, I'm from Israel, so we do Israel, Tel Aviv, sorry, not like that, Tel Aviv. It's like what I'm searching on the explore page, on the search. Um, my place called Modi In, I will do like that. Okay, if it's your country, you can put Spain, USA, sorry, USA. Canada, depends on the place that will be relevant for you, and then just close it like that. After that, do also execute Instagram basic profile, visit your inbox for the page, also do Instagram timeline square, just to look very human, okay? So all of these actions will be look very human. So you actually randomly checking the things without doing any action. Now also, please delete all of the website and the tokens. You see over here, you don't need that. Okay, and then just turn it on. Um, what else I want to speak about? Let's see. Um, mm, 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 mm. We talked how to solve the blocks. I also talked about that. I think that's it. I think this is the main thing I want to show you. And this is actually, if you try all of the ways I show you, 
it will work. Okay, there is no magic. It's only hard work, testing, and scaling. That's it. Now, before you go, short TPA. <laughs> if uh, if I manage to help you after you see the video, check the things, try it for your accounts. If I help you, great comment. Tell me what you think about it. Um, also, if you if you want more of my help, many people also in the group. Uh, telling me that they don't want to do it anymore and they want someone to do all of these things. It's too much complicated, it's too much time consuming. All good. I also do that, me and my team. You can also book with me for a call. And the last thing, I don't know if you know, but I have also my VIP club. Um, sorry, I will show you. Mm -mm. So I have my VIP club for Javi brands, sorry, Javi, Javi users. Okay. Um, I also I opened that only for 15 people. Okay, a 97 dollar. The idea, if you want more of my personal help and my daily help and support and everything, you know, to make your accounts work. So this is what I do in my group. It's a private group. It's not on Facebook. Also, I speak about things that I cannot speak on Facebook at all. I have another four places. So if you want to join, feel free. Okay, I will also put you the link. Um really really cool you can also have people who already join us they are also in this group and i think that's it <laughs> i really try my best to help you i hope i did it um any question feel free to comment below thank you thank you i didn't spoke about the proxies but i also have a whole video about the proxies i just said one sentence for client account is 4g high quality proxies private proxies and for Scraper, you don't need a proxy for well, just fan page accounts. You can use database proxies, you know, up to you. But you must, I recommend to, to watch the video. It will do you a lot of uh, organization. It will make you a bit more clear. Thank you guys. Happy 2020 and see you. Bye bye. <laughs>